Yep. see a lot that we we don't know here and that's that's uh, uh, understandable um, so you know the, the people are speculating a lot and we're not going to do that obviously here one thing I will say is that preventative for a lot of people they think well that's something to prevent cancer in this case and I think and some of this may be semantics um, but I think what we're really hearing and what has become clear in this most recent statement that Max read is that we're talking about something that's really more known as adjuvant therapy um, something that is given to treat uh, cancer that may not have been entirely removed at a previous operation, for example. That's typically what you hear, and that sort of fits the timeline as well of several months of, of chemotherapy. It can be six to nine months of chemotherapy, sometimes even longer than that. It's dependent on a lot of the factors you see there on the screen. Again, we don't know the type of cancer, or certainly the stage. There's different medications depending on what the specific cancer is, and all of that affects um, not only the, the types of medication that she is getting, but also how she's likely to feel while she's getting those medications. The side effects, for example, those medications, and then as I mentioned, the length. But th that semantic point you're raising, Brianna, good one, uh, preventative versus adjuvant therapy. Some people use those terms interchangeably, but it very much sounds like they are still treating her underlying cancer. Sanjay, she also says that she has good and bad days and also says, quote, I am not out of the woods yet. Yeah. What's your reaction to that? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just sitting here with you looking at this lovely picture. I mean, she, she it's, a, it's a beautiful picture, I think, to reconcile that with what she's saying. She's still got a long road. Um, I think there's two, two issues. One is that how well are the medications that she's taking for chemotherapy working? Are they making a difference? I think that might be some of the interpretation of out of the woods. But also, you just, you know, how do you feel? Uh, good days, bad days. I hear that from a lot of my patients as well. Sometimes you feel actually pretty good. And then the next day, it can be very different. Uh, even the next hour, it can be very different. And on the screen there, you know, you see some of the things that people often talk about when they're undergoing chemotherapy. It's, it's exhausting. You're basically uh, you know, trying to target all these different cells in the body. That can be very exhausting. Um, people d d develop uh, what they call chemo brain or brain fog. There can be all these things. Even your mood can, can fluctuate wildly. So I think it's these two things. How well is the chemotherapy actually working? And how is she doing with the side effects during that time? Yeah, and Sanjay, can you just talk a little bit? This isn't... This isn't a strictly medical condition, but I think it's a question really around what it takes for a family when you're dealing with a potentially very serious illness. Because, I mean, we look at the royal family, and in particular, uh, yeah. we notice they're not being particularly forthcoming about what type of cancer we're talking about. But at the same time, there's this history of the very prying British tabloids being quite injurious to the children of this family with the things that it has said. And so you sort of understand maybe why. Can you speak a little bit to what is important sure. for a family when they're managing a complex and uncertain road uh, dealing with a, an illness? I, I can't even imagine how challenging this must be. I mean, again, I take care of patients and I know, and they're not the royal family and yet it, it upends your entire life. So, you know, you, when you, it upends your entire life like that, uh, it's very hard to know how to proceed. And as Max was talking about, and as was mentioned in the statement, it's all uncertainty. There's hardly anything you can hang your hat on. And so that becomes very challenging because people want answers. Kids of, of the patient uh, want answers. You know, they want to know, they want to try and instill as much certainty as possible. And then you add to the fact that you're talking about this very famous family that everyone is curious about. So I, I, I see how challenging it is with my own patients who are not in this position. It, you're absolutely right, Brianna. It's got to be that uh, amplified exponentially for, for the royal family. But I think, you know, just as we're not speculating, part of that is because obviously we don't know, but also because some of this is not known. It's not like some of this is known and they're just not telling you. It's, it's very unclear, I think, sometimes when you're uh, giving adjuvant therapy, chemotherapy, exactly how the patient's going to respond. Is it going to work and how are they going to tolerate those medications? That is an unknown. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, always great to get your perspective on these kinds of stories. Thanks so much.